Uh, you know, it's been a couple of weeks since we talked last. Just kind of update us on how, on how the team is, is looking, how it's gelling, you know, with the season just a few days away. We're making some good progress. We do have a number of injuries, though, that uh, have curtailed our development. We're not right where we need to be uh, at this moment, but uh, we're hoping to get some people back. We did lose Wells for the year. We lost Nicole Allison for the year with injuries. Um, Christine Martin has a bulging disc, so she's kind of day-to-day. Santiago's been out for several days with a back injury as well. Uh, so I'm pretty concerned us going in. We've, we've really got six, seven kids that are out right now. Huh. I mean, how difficult is that? I mean, we hear Coach Walsh talk about that and, and injuries and, you know, continuity. How tough is it, you know, just to get ready for the season with, with half your team out? Well, we're, our preparations are going into play, but as far as knowing who's going to start, how to substitute, what happens with our front line as far as foul trouble goes, those are some huge concerns for us at this stage with the injuries that we're um, suffering at the moment. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get healthy here. I, I don't see it happening this week, but uh, you know, by the time we get to conference play, I'm hoping that we're much more healthy and uh, prepared well to face a... Uh, very hungry opponents, but hopefully a championship is still in store for us. Uh, just a little more specific on, on Christina. Um, I mean, do you, is there a chance she may play this week or just kind of update us a little more detail on, on her status? Well, she missed several days of practice last week. Uh, she was out again today with practice. We're kind of day to day with her. Um, we're going to hold her out as long as we can in hopes that we have her for Friday and, and Sunday. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't know whether she'll make it back or not. But uh, she's a competitor. She'll put everything she can into it. If, if she ends up gimping uh, in the game, then we'll have to pull her. But uh, our sights are trying to set for her to be able to play on Friday. That's our goal. Uh, Martin doesn't look like that's going to happen for her. Bletcher, we expected her back, and, and she won't be ready to go by Friday. Um, so you know, our, our troops in the post position are limited at the moment. So we're going to have to play some great defense and maybe pull out a little zone that we've only worked on a couple of <laughs> times in practice to see if, if we can't come up with something to be able to go against a very strong Oregon State team. Uh, hey, Coach. Uh, what was uh, Christina's injury again specifically? She, it's a back injury, a pulled muscle. Um, okay. So not quite the same as uh, Christine Martin as far as the bulging disc. But uh, basically they told Martin that if she sneezes, she could rupture the disc. It's kind of her call at this stage whether she's playing or not. But uh, yeah, that sounds kind of serious. And I mean, it's very yeah, serious. I mean, a lot of us here in the Central Coast were eager to see her play yeah. this year. Is that something that may keep her uh, out of action this season? I mean, is it potentially that serious? I mean, it could disc? be. It could be. I mean, she—they're giving her a, a chance. If she does have surgery, it's a 50-50 percent chance of there being any improvement. So at this stage of the game, she's wanting to go forward with the season. And we'll, like I said, we'll just play it year by or day by day to see where she's at and if she'll be able to compete. Was that an injury that that was pre-existing, or did not it, that it, we are aware of? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, so th this is the uh, obviously <laughs> the season opener here Friday and then Sunday. I mean, how how important is it for you guys to, to get off on a, on a winning note and kind of set the tone? Uh, for what should hopefully be a, a good season for you? Well, I think it is going to be a good season. It might be a little bit uh, bumpy here at the start as we're trying to get people back, but uh, there's plenty of things that we can work on. Obviously, Oregon State is a, a terrific ball club. There are two exhibition games. They pounded both of their opponents by over 80 points. They scored over 100 points in both those games. So, uh, you know, we got some major challenges ahead of us to go up to Corvallis and try to do some damage. Uh, but the team is eager to get started, and uh, we're hoping that we can make a good showing there. Coach, you got the uh, proverbial monkey off your back. Uh, not only a winning season, but advancing through the uh, um, conference tournament. What does that do for you as a coach? I mean, being under some somewhat of a specula speculation over the, over the years, and what does that do for, for the team as well? Well, I think we've had a strong program, not a championship caliber program until last year. And uh, I think we're in good stead to try to develop a championship team this year. It's probably not going to show straight away in the first couple games of the season, but I do think we have some good potential to reach that. 
uh, injuries have been a bug for us in my career here at Cal Poly, and so obviously I'm guarded in my optimism at this stage. But uh, hopefully things will come together for us as, as we come down the pike here. But uh, our team has a different mentality than they've had in the past because of the success that they had last year. They, uh, they understand, I think, what it takes to win, and every day is a commitment to reach that level. It's, it's not, hey, let's hope it, it flows well for us in February. We're trying to make some really great strides today in practice. Is that something that just clicked after last season, or is there something in particular that happened that just kind of showed the girls, well, this takes a consistent effort, and you know, it's 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 a constant thing. I mean, what 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 changed last year other than the success? Well, I think we had terrific leadership. Uh, Megan and Lisa, our players that graduated last year, were terrific leaders, and I think that they brought a different level of belief in themselves and the program. I think when you're involved in the program that's building and you're trying to get over the top, you kind of reach a glass ceiling and you don't really believe you want it, but you don't necessarily believe it. I mean, in your very heart that you can do it. And I think that that's been somewhat of the difficulties that previous teams have faced. Last year they didn't have that uh, obstacle. For some reason, I don't really know what it is, but they just blew through it and be like, we're winning this thing. And then when they beat uh, Riverside in the tournament, it was almost as if God was smiling down on them and saying, yes, yes, you can do this. And uh, they did come to a place of belief. And I believe that uh, a good portion of the team, I don't know if everyone's buying in, but uh, a large majority of the team believes that we can do it. Thank you, Coach. Mm -hmm.